Coming up. We will fight and be merciless. President Okayev declared a fight against provocateurs of inter-ethnic conflicts. Kazakh COVID cases rise again. Epidemic situation is deteriorating. There will be no grain shortage in Kazakhstan, but flour and bread prices will still rise. The Grain Union spokesperson assessed the situation on the market. Kazakhstan People's Assembly plays an important role in strengthening the unity in the country. Head of State Kasim Jumar Tokayev noted the significance of the institute in his speech during an extended meeting of the Assembly. According to him, the Assembly, over the years of independence, has become an effective instrument for strengthening the unity of the nation, uniting all Kazakh residents around the idea of common statehood. Thanks to this, a stable and successful model of inter-ethnic harmony has been confidently formed in our country, the effectiveness of which is recognized by the entire world community. Kazakhstan'daki turaklık pen tatulak, kuamdaki intimak pen tiyendikten the harmony of different cultures in our motherland is a vivid confirmation of this. This is the main principle and constant strategic benchmark of our consolidation into a single nation. Today, there are many issues that need to be addressed. In this case, we must strengthen our national unity. Only then will we be able to strengthen our statehood and conquer new heights. In my State of the Nation address, I highlighted the importance of strengthening the unity of the country, noting that an important role in this direction is assigned to the Assembly. <laughs> Sondagana, Mimliket Tilgumsde, Nagaitab, Jan Bilistirde, Bagandralams. Mercilessly fight against provocateurs and suppress any inter-ethnic tensions and conflicts. Such cases should be strictly suppressed in accordance with the law, the president noted. He paid particular attention to the need to establish research in the field of inter-ethnic relations and support the work of civil society institutions and council of mothers. In turn, famous coach Altan Kanikar suggested opening schools for mothers in Kazakhstan. Within the project, we intend to train all mothers who want to improve their knowledge of the Kazakh language. At school, we will also talk about national traditions. For example, the tradition Turkundiu contributes to the preservation of the family hearth. We will also share tips for raising children. I support your work. It is essential for our society. It is good to have more such centers in the regions. So good luck. President Tokayev urged to transform the movement Jean Rujolo into the national youth organization under the Assembly. He expressed hope that the youth of the Assembly would take an active part in the implementation of this initiative to plant 2 billion trees in the forest fund and another 15 million in the country's settlements. Emphasizing the relevance of youth policy, Kasim Jamar Tokayev proposed to dedicate the next session of the Assembly to this topic. COVID-19 infection rate is rising again in Kazakhstan. In the last 24 hours alone, the country reported 1,844 new infections. Almaty accounts for the highest single-day case count. The southern metropolis detected 309 new coronavirus cases in the past day. Pavlodar region follows with 186 new cases. Nur Sultan is in the third place. Since the beginning of the pandemic, total COVID-19 cases in Kazakhstan have passed 923,000. Fortunately, the number of people who managed to recover from the deadly disease is also growing. The health the ministry reports that 1,984 citizens were reported to have recovered from COVID-19 in the last 24 hours. The country continues its mass immunization campaign. To date, 7,235,679 citizens have received two doses of the vaccine. The spread of a new coronavirus strain in the UK does not pose a greater threat. This was announced by the country's Department of Health. The relevant department noted that the number of new infections in Britain has increased by almost 20% and the number of hospitalizations by 10% over the past week. And this figure can go up to 100,000 new daily cases. However, the UK government is not yet planning to switch to Plan B and reimpose restrictive measures. COVID-19 mutates like any virus, and we're identifying new variants all the time. 
This includes a new version of the Delta variant, which is currently known as AY4.2. And that new variant is now spreading. And while there's no reason to believe at this point that AY4.2 poses a greater threat, the next variant, or the one after that, might do. The United States has approved the use of a booster dose of coronavirus vaccines. According to the country's Food and Drug Administration, this applies to citizens who received the Moderna and Johnson & Johnson vaccines. The requirements for each vaccine are different. For example, a new dose of Moderna can be administered at least six months after full immunization to people over 65 years of age, as well as to patients at risk of severe COVID-19. In the case of Johnson & Johnson, the booster dose can be received at least two months after one dose. The authorization applies to people aged 18 and over. The authorities of Azerbaijan urge residents to be vaccinated for the third time in order to maintain a high number of antibodies in the body. First of all, the booster dose is recommended for citizens over 60 years of age and for health workers at risk. At a later stage, other categories of citizens will be involved in revaccination. Although experts say that immunization does not provide 100% protection against COVID-19, they still argue that it is the best way to save yourself from the complications of a serious illness. Citizens who are vaccinated with, for example, a Chinese vaccine may choose a different vaccine for a booster shot, such as Pfizer. To date, we have not observed any worsening of the condition in the vaccinated after they got the third shot, while after the first and second doses, many people complained of headaches and fever. Vaccination is the only way to fight the coronavirus. The Senate of the Kazakh Parliament ratified the agreement on the protection of the Caspian Sea. This important agreement was concluded by five Caspian Basin states, including Kazakhstan. Ratification will enable countries to use the best environmental technologies to preserve the Caspian Sea environment. It is planned to create a full database of the characteristics of the marine environment and coastal areas. According to the convention, each party shall facilitate access to information. This will help to monitor the pollution levels and rational use of resources, said Kazakh Minister of Ecology, Geology and Natural Resources. The draft law will not have negative social, economic and legal consequences for Kazakhstan, he added. No additional allocation of money from the budget will be required. In seven years, the cargo totaling 1.5 million containers have passed through the Kazakh Chinese logistics terminal in the city of Lianyungang. The port plays a key role in the transportation of goods from East Asia through China and Kazakhstan to Europe and back. The joint transport hub provides international transport services on land and water. Exported goods can pass through customs clearance at an accelerated rate. We have many sea routes. We are planning to increase their density. Thus, competition will naturally grow. There is also a land port on the Altenkul station. Therefore, there is an advantage here for Kazakh entrepreneurs. They can contact the terminal in Lianyungan, where employees from Kazakhstan work through the Jai port or directly. We are ready to assist Kazakh entrepreneurs in developing effective logistics solutions. The delivery time of goods by rail from Lianyungan to Europe through the territory of Kazakhstan takes about 18 days. In the near future, it is also planned to launch a transport hub, which will allow transporting goods across the Caspian Sea, including to Turkey, in just two weeks. There will be no grain shortage in Kazakhstan. Despite the decrease in the volume of grain harvest by almost a fourth due to the drought, the country is prepared to fully sustain domestic consumption, spokesperson for the Kazakh Grain Union Evgeny Karabanov announced. According to him, the volume of grain harvest in Kazakhstan is expected to reach 10.5 million tons this year. More than 6 million of them will be directed to the domestic market. In addition, we have substantial carryovers, which we estimate at 2.8 million tons. Thus, the total balance, with additional imports from Russia, where we expect to receive up to 2 million tons of grain, will not simply cover our domestic consumption, but also remain in the flour and wheat export market in the amount of up to 6.5 million tons of grain equivalent.
зерновому еквиваленті. In the meantime, grain continues to grow in price on global markets. Kazakhstan cannot avoid this either. The expert spoke about the factors influencing the rise in prices for products. И повышение стоимости хлеба произойдет не только и не столько из-за повышения стоимости зерна и муки. The increase in the price of bread will occur not only and not so much because of the increase in the price of grain and flour, but because of the increase in the cost of other components used in its production. After all, the cost of flour is only 30% of the prime cost of bread. The remaining 70% is other expenses for other necessary ingredients needed to make bread. Ensuring the accessibility and quality of preschool education, narrowing the gap between urban and rural schools, and increasing the competitiveness of universities. These and other tasks will be addressed within the national project Quality Education for All – An Educated Nation. The main difference of this project is that it is focused on specific and most important tasks. In addition, the program consists of four directions, 15 indicators and 26 measures. This was announced by Kazakh Minister of Education and Science Ashatay Magambetov at a press briefing. The project will be implemented by 2025. To create conditions for the development of the state language, to use it not only in everyday life, but also in scientific, educational, public life and business environment. These are the main directions of the national program announced by Minister of Information and Social Development Aida Balaeva at a briefing. She spoke in detail about the tasks of the project, noting that it consists of three directions, seven tasks, 21 indicators and 66 large-scale events. Бұл бағыттың екінші маңызды міндеті мемлекеттік тілдің қолданы, қолдану аясын кейін. An important task in this area is to expand the scope of the state language. After all, the very concept of preserving the nation lies in the preservation and development of the language. As you know, the head of state expressed confidence that the Kazakh language will become interethnic in the future. There are all prerequisites for this. The demand for the state language is growing. It is imperative of the times. Therefore, a number of large-scale projects are being considered in this matter. The minister noted that a number of activities have been identified for teaching the state language. This is the development of innovative IT products for learning the state language, popular animation and educational channels in Kazakh, changes in the language programs in secondary education, the development of textbooks in Kazakh language for organizations of technical and vocational education. The transition to the Latin script will make it possible to integrate Kazakh language into the Turkic world and the global community. According to the well-known Turkologist Yulai Shamiloglu, this will also make it easier for foreign nationals to learn Kazakh. I think for uh, people who are visiting Kazakhstan as tourists, for people who come as businessmen, be it from Turkey or Europe or the United States, uh, and for, for students uh, at a place like Nazarbayev University, Think not everybody knows Cyrillic, the Cyrillic alphabet. And so I think it, uh, it requires certain time to learn a new alphabet. And so I think one of the, the reasons is to make it easier to visit Kazakhstan and to do business in Kazakhstan and for Kazakhstan to integrate its economy into the rest of the world. Raquel Reynagel from the U.S. teaches English in Kazakhstan. She began learning Kazakh more than two years ago. It is the third foreign language for her after Russian and Korean, and she has already reached an intermediate level. The 26-year-old blogger shares her journey of learning the language on her YouTube channel. The sooner Kazakhstan switches to the Latin script, the better, says Raquel. Given the rapid development of the Internet, this will be a useful tool for foreigners who want to learn Kazakh. I think, um, actually, on the Internet, a lot of people are using the Latin alphabet more and more these days, um, just because the keyboard, when you're using the Internet for other places, you have to use the English keyboard anyways, or the Latin alphabet keyboard. So I guess it's easier to just switch. I think the sooner that they approve the alphabet, the better. Because it's been years and years that the alphabet has been under construction, I guess you can say.